sure that you would have seen the candles in birthdays, right? And in dinners as well. So if I take this cake, here there's a candle, right? And sometimes, you know, these candles will be of different shapes and sizes. So, but how are they made? So let me show you with a magic show. So let me take this candle. Now, let me cover this candle for two seconds. One, two. Abracadabra. Oh God, here we got a different shape, right? Yes, but usually we don't prepare the candle using this magic show. There is some procedure for that. If you want a special candle for your birthday, there are certain procedures to be followed. See what they'll do? They'll take a wax. Okay, so let me take a jar. In this jar, there is a wax. Okay, so here they will light a lamp below this jar which is containing a wax so after lighting it they will allow to the melting of this wax so after some time here the solid wax will be melted and it will be completely liquid now they'll take this jar okay after taking this jar they're going to take a molden shape and then they will pour all this liquid in that here the mold will be of desired shape it may be of numbers, it may be of different shapes, of flowers or whatever you wishes. Okay, so likewise, from this, I'm going to get a beautiful candles. And here, if you observe, the volume of this new candle will be same as the volume of a earlier candle, the wax which you used. Okay, so likewise, we can prepare or we can convert one shape to the another shape okay using this procedures so likewise if you observe here the volume of this both the solid will be same it will be balanced so i can just say it as a the volume of one solid is equals to the volume of the another solid which was made from the first one okay so this is about the conversion of one shape to the another Okay, and this is about the chapter surface area and the volume.